check this out for a boat, eh? The Dundee Explorer. Belongs to the Lodge of Dundee. Beautiful charter boat. And this is operated from the Lodge of Dundee. It's early now. Hopefully today we're going to get into them. Back out again. That was a beautiful breakfast we had this morning, fellas, wasn't it? Magnificent. Yeah, all good. The crew looks a bit motley, but it's tough. Can't go out without a motley crew. Oh, that's a beautiful boat. Yeah, that's a beautiful Ricky, tell us about this spot. Uh, this spot can be really good for golden snapper. Um, we're going to try and hit it. We had a change of tide at 8 o'clock, so I'm hoping that we should get onto some nice fish on that first push of the, the outgoing tide. Oh, red is that today? Red. Right. Oh, what, what do you call it? Scarlet sea fish. Thanks, Alex. That's what I've got. I've been asking the question. There's an official. <laughs> You must be hungry because there's a big bite. <laughs> yeah. Sure. There she is. Oh, that's a good one. That is a nice one. Yo! Oh, what's that? The first tricky. Tricky snapper. Nice work. I've always said I can't work out why they call them tricky. They're not really tricky at all, they're just bloody stupid. <laughs> Decky. Oh, Decky. <laughs> She's learned quick. So we're both surveyed for 10. Uh, lately we've been getting a lot of corporate groups out. Um, it's great when we get out here, we see a lot of dolphins, a lot of whales, a lot of turtles. So it's really good for the group to get out and have a little something different rather than just fishing. A full day charter gets you on the water about 7 and we normally get back around 5 so it's a good day. We've got an air conditioned, air conditioned cab in there. Just get people in there and have a bit of a respite from the heat during the day. Everyone seems to be getting little bites at the moment. We're really confident in our product and hopefully as we move forward we can start Get into a little bit more sailfish, a little bit more whale watching. We're on a great little reef here. What do you got there, Bonnie? Not quite sure yet. Hopefully, we see a bit of red. Oh, there we go, some colour. Oh, look at that. The tuskfish. Yeah, Blue bone, is it? Oh, yeah. We got here. Oh, and the decky just lost it. High five for that. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, where's the brick on now? Yeah. <laughs> you see him? Nice one, Con. Yeah, you caught one of these before, Con? Many times. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good eating, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be taking that one home, mate. Do you mind? I do too. We'll be filming that straight up. Oh, my God. Hey, brother, that's too Billy. Woo! Got one, have you? Yeah, nice one. Oh. Oh, it's a bit of colour here. Looks, yeah, it's trout. <laughs> wow. Oh. Well done, mate. Oh, Bring him nice up. Nice one. Oh, good fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold oh. him out in the light for us. Mark sheet coral trout. They don't grow real big in the Northern Territory compared to their Queensland counterparts, but they're every bit as good to eat. And one thing about them is they're safe to eat. They don't have that. Uh, with teratoxin that some of those Queensland reef fish oh, have. And uh, one of the regular fish that are caught here on the Dundee Explorer. The blue diamonds are beautiful, aren't they? Have you like eating trout, mate? They're not bad, I like them. Whoa, two of them. Here's another one. Bring them up here, mate. Let's see the two together. No, unfortunately, <laughs> size counts, Mark, and... Uh, 
on bigger. What you got there, mate? Another coral trout. trout. They're in plague proportions today, aren't they? Yeah, good day for it. We've all had probably a couple hits, but prize ones are coral trout. Looking forward to putting this one on the barbecue, that's for sure. <laughs> a suicidal golden snapper. Hey Alex, I caught that fish, there's no suicide there. <laughs> golden snapper, one of the territory's great sporting reef fish. What do you reckon Mick? A oh, kilo and a half, two maybe. Yeah, I love them. They're the best eating too. There's mackerel moving in Alex. Look at them following up this fish. Look at that. Look at these mackerel moving in. There, get that dick. He took off, mate? Yeah. What is it, Nick? Oh, no, this is oh, a yeah. colour, mate. Uh, that's pretty big. That's a pretty relaxed way of winding a fish in there, Con. <laughs> yeah. Come on, oh. The line cuts the water. What's that, the he follows with the rod tip. He's had a big bait on. I think he might have a shark here, yes. Right. He has. And those shirts tell the story of Dundee and Dundee Explorer. Oh, there's a little fish on the One of the things you do it, uh, when you go out in the blue water, right? You see the tuna. Yeah, time, it was nice, it? Alex. Yeah, they were thick. Managed even an old man like me to get one. <laughs> well, here you go. This is a Dundee coral trout. We jig this one up. The boys have been using bait mainly today, but uh, we put on a golf jig. And this is uh, my favourite eating fish. A bit of sun on it there. And uh, hopefully, you better get the old Dundee hat right too. And. Uh, Coral trout is just one of the many reef fish that you'll catch on the Dundee Explorer out here off this beautiful Timor Sea coast. And uh, at the end of the day you can go back and have a beer, a cold beer at the Lodge of Dundee. And uh, this is a beautiful boat, 10 metres, fish is 10 in comfort and they really look after you. Very competent crew, they know the spots and uh, we've got a lot of fish today but uh, the coral trout always my favourite.